Hey everyone, this amazing morning we are kicking it off with our morning routine. This morning's vlog is all about the hustle and the joy of parenting. Come along with us to spend the day with us, you guys. A day in the life of the Regis family. Morning, we are taking Grace and Caleb to school. Caleb is right here. We are taking them to school. Well, he's right here driving. There are so many things that we have to do today. As parents, we understand the challenges of managing a busy morning from the daily commutes and drop-offs. It's a journey we all navigate. If you're a parent watching, drop a comment below and share your morning rituals or any parent hacks that keep you going. I would love to hear from you guys. Let's build a supportive community for parents. Stay tuned for the exciting day ahead, guys. We've dropped off our son Caleb at school and now we are on our way to drop off Gracie. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give this video a like. We have dropped off Gracie and now we are going to go to the bank to sort out some stuff. And after that, Paul and I are going to do something for the two of us because it is very difficult. It's been very difficult for the past few months. Um, Paul and I have not had much time to spend together as a couple. So we're going to do some couple things today. Even if it's one thing we do today, we are going to take the time to do it, to spend time with each other and to reconnect. I think in a, in a relationship, in a marriage, that is very important. Um, I miss my husband, honestly. And you guys are about saying, but isn't he home with you? My husband is home with me. I'm home with my husband. But we spend the bulk of our time taking care of our kids, especially Gracie, doing stuff for the kids and family. But to have time for the two of us, it's, it is sometimes very difficult. Most times very difficult for us to spend time together. Gracie has a habit now. She doesn't want to go to bed by herself. Um, she wants to go to bed together with us. She wants to be in our arms to sleep. And we are trying to break that habit. Gracie does not do well with changes. So we have to do it gradually. So today, Paul and I must find something for us to do together as a couple. So guys, unfortunately, I had to turn off the volume of my video because uh, I did not realize that there was music and I don't want to be copyrighted. But I went to Sephora and I got some makeup that I was running out of. And the girl who helped me was so awesome. Um, she gave me the best help ever and... I had a good time. I bought some of the stuff that I needed, like foundation, primer, and, and eyeshadow. And she gave me a few samples that I have not used. I will try them um, later this week to see how it goes. But yeah, it was so nice. It was nice to be able to do something for myself. And it was nice to have my husband there with me as well. This young lady who helped me was so helpful. She was so very nice and polite. If you guys ever go to Yorkdale Mall and go to Sephora there, look out for this lady. She is a very, very nice person and she's very helpful. Oh, it's on tonight. Throw that thing from left, right, side to side. Oh, yeah. So guys, we are done. Look, at, I went to get a blush. And this is what I got. I like it. And I got some goodies here. Paul and I, we had lunch, but I forgot to film it. And we enjoyed our lunch. We went to, a, to an Asian restaurant. We enjoyed our lunch. And then we went to Sephora to buy some makeup for myself. So now we are going to get my eyebrows done. Guys, it had been such a long time since, since Paul and I did something like that. It felt kind of strange, but at the same time, it felt good that the two of us was able to go somewhere with no keys, just the two of us, to do something together. And the fact that my husband was okay with me um, going and do all of these things and never complained, that made me feel so good. I enjoyed the day, and this is a memory that I am going to cherish for the rest of my life. Left, right, side, 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 yeah, uh, 
All my friends are here. So he went to get my eyebrows done, but the technician was doing somebody else's eyelashes. She asked us to come back in about 20 minutes, but she finished before 20 minutes and I was able to get my eyebrows done before it was time to pick up free, which was awesome. Guys, I don't know who told me to choose um, threading, but oh my gosh, this thing was so painful. I don't think I'm ever gonna do threading again because it was painful. But she did a good job. Woo! <laughs> Oh Lord. <laughs> Babe, I should do yours. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's like somebody put in a thousand years of my time. It's basically what it is. <laughs> hey guys. So we are done. So this is the end product. I'm gonna fix it when I get home. Um so now we are gonna go pick up Gracie right now. We're gonna have to find some place to stop for a bit because we will have a huge gap between Gracie and Caleb. So yeah, on our way to pick up our little girl Gracie. So guys, now that I'm outside, I'm looking at my eyebrows. Um, I'm thinking I like this one better than that one. Whilst I was inside, the way the lighting was, I was looking at this one and like, I preferred this one. But as I'm outside, I really prefer this one. So when I get home, I'm gonna try to fix it. Uh, you pay so much money and then... I'm gonna try to fix it when I get home, you guys. Um, but this one is, to me, I prefer this one over this one. So when I get home, I'm gonna try to fix my eyebrows. But for now, we are on our way to pick up Gracie. Gracie was not happy, you guys, this morning when we dropped her off. Gracie was very upset. Gracie did not want to stay. I think Gracie has gotten so used to us. I can't stand this in my neck. She has gotten so used to us now. Gracie does not want to stay without us. But we have to take it easy and transition her slowly. Or she'll be happy to go back to school. Because she was happy to go back to school and when she got sick she stayed home for so long now to take her back to school is, is very difficult let me know in the comment section below guys let me know if it's like this for you especially if you have a child with autism let me know how it is for you because gracie have both autism and trisomy 18. um and we we are dealing with these two diagnoses so one of the challenging things for her are sensory is very sensitive to a lot of things and also changes. Gracie can't hear, Gracie cannot stand to hear loud noises, certain textures, or she doesn't allow you to just do hand over hand with her and things like that. She also does not like changes. Gracie likes to have a routine and she likes to keep to her routine. And if we deviate from that routine, then we are gonna have problems with Grace. Um, sometimes it's, it's challenging for us, especially when she's sick, she stays home. And then when it's time for her to go back to school, it's, it's really challenging for her. She does not want to stay without us. She starts hitting herself. So these are some of the things that we have to deal with. Tell me some of the ways that you guys are dealing with it. What are some of the things that you do to make it easier for the child and for parents? Because sometimes it can get very challenging. Um, this morning when I dropped her off, it was it was sad. I was very sad. You know, it was very sad for me to leave her and go. Um, to see her face, she wasn't up, she wasn't happy. It was very sad for me. Um, it broke my heart to see Gracie um, this morning. So let me know how you guys deal with it. What are some of the things that you guys are doing to help make it better for your child and for yourselves. So guys, we, we pick up Gracie from school. 
and Polly's buckling her in there. Gracie, Gracie, how was school today? It was good? <laughs> yes. You enjoyed school? Yes. <laughs> Did you miss mommy and daddy? You mad at us still? No, you did not miss us? Okay, that is good. <laughs> ah, crazy girl. Love you, Bobby. You missed us. Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at at the back there? So guys, we are on our way to pick up Kayla, but first we had to stop to pick up some hot chocolate. I got some hot chocolate from Second Cup. To me, this is the best hot chocolate ever. My cousin, when she came here to visit, she introduced me to this white hot chocolate from Second Cup. So I got myself a large one and I got a large one for um, for Paul. It's white chocolate with whipped cream. I love it. To me, Second Cup has the best hot chocolate in town. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, this is so yummy. I'm gonna enjoy this. Gracie! Look at her, you guys, on her little you hoodie. Um, I wish Gracie could drink that. I would have bought her one. Um, she's not gonna drink it. I'm gonna leave a little bit in there for her, for her to try. When we get to kid of school, we're gonna give it to her. See if she'll take it. She probably will take it. She probably will like it. But Gracie is funny when it comes to things like that, like new things, especially to drink. Yeah, Gracie does not just drink. But I'll try it. I, I, I'm curious to see how she's going to do, if she's going to drink it or not. So we'll see. This thing is so good. I don't drink this very often, but sometimes when I feel for it, I will, I will buy one. I haven't had this in in years i think the last time i had this gracie was going to um silver creek guys we are done um outside we're gonna go home now we got the stuff for Caleb, but we had to go to two different dollar stores to get it we got it for Caleb. we are gonna go home i got some stuff for me to do my hair and uh, my hair really needs some grooming so i'm going to do my hair the lighting is so poor here i'm gonna check you guys out when i get home guys this is these are the things i bought today from sephora oh,